What do we want? Free buses. Where do we want them? Now. What do we want? Free buses. Where do we want them? Now. Today is Transport Day at um, COP and we're using it as an opportunity to push for an improvement and expansion of public transport. If you look at all the NDCs that countries have submitted, the commitments to public transport are very weak, are really, really weak. And in the vast majority of com um, countries, there's no mention of public transport at all. The transport sector is one of the highest emitting sectors worldwide. It's highly dependent on fossil fuels, but also it's the sector that has the fastest growing rate of emissions. You will have seen loads of lovely brand new electric buses ferrying the delegates from the station to the cop side. Those have been bought with public money for private companies. And those say delegates have all been given a free multimodal travel pass so they can hop from the bus to the train to the subway. And what we're saying is if they can do it transport free, everybody uses it, it equalises our city, we're all the same, we sit next to each other, we communicate. For five years we have been campaigning for this council to deliver a fully integrated and affordable public transport system that our city urgently needs. This is vital for tackling the climate emergency, we need to decarbonise all of our transport over the next we know how important it is to cut transport emissions and one of the most effective ways that we've got is to get people out of their private cars and into public transport. But for that to happen on the scale that's needed, we really need the investment from governments. So we are campaigning hard for public investment in public transport. Whenever first bus cut a route because their shareholders aren't making quite enough profit, that pushes people into car ownership, which maybe they can't afford. It creates more greenhouse gas emissions, more air pollution. Over the last five years before the pandemic, bus, tr bus journeys in Scotland had reduced by 50 million when car journeys had increased by 2 billion. If the people can't afford car ownership, then it keeps people at home. It cuts people off from healthcare, access to education, employment and social connections. Glasgow has huge communities who live in peripheral estates on the outlying areas and many of those are communities where people are working poor, they're working but they're still living under the poverty line. So we need to make sure that our connected city works for those citizens as well. This administration has a promise or a commitment to 20 minute livable communities. How can you have a 20 minute livable community whenever your local amenities are being shut down? We need everybody to be able to move to work, everybody to be able to move to, move to hospital, everybody, every child to be able to move to school. This can only be achieved with a free, accessible public transport. At the minute what we have is a spoke model that brings everybody into the city centre before they can go back out again. What we actually need is a redesigned service that's under public control so they're democratically accountable. Public ownership, we want public ownership. Public ownership, we want public ownership. The free market does not work for public transport. There is no incentive to run quiet routes where they can stuff more transport into the busy routes. What incentive do the profiteers have to ensure that transport is more accessible for people with disabilities, to make transport safer for women, to coordinate with other profiteers for integrated transport, to make sure that our members who work in public transport are decently paid and that their pay can build the community's wealth. The alternative is to own our own buses, to own our own rail network. In about over 100 cities worldwide now, there's some form of free public transport. We need the politicians, both in this city and at governmental level, to have the political courage to actually make the decisions that are going to change the way that the city operates. Free buses!